Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba, and, th and this is a continuation of the underground water tank tutorial. And today I'm just going to place the columns and the beams for the supports of the top concrete cover of our tank. You can see it here. And uh, what I'm going, uh, what I'm going to do, I've, I've already laid the points where I'm going to place my columns. I'm just, I'm going to place the three columns, one, two, and three, and beams running across just to support the the top cover of our tank so that uh, so many impurities should not find their way inside the tank now and also on, on top of the top uh, concrete cover concrete cover will have some manholes to access uh, the water tank maybe for treatment and uh, and many more now I'll come to concrete here I'll click on col column right there and uh, just snap right there double click and uh, you can correct the height of your column from here ours is uh, 4.362 you can adjust it you can adjust it to a height you want once you fade that you just tie you just click ok and you see your column taking a different height now I'll do that I'll undo that to come back to my previous height now let me come to view and uh, let me pick on rotate and you'll see my column is flashing right with the with the height of the walls now i'll close this for now because uh, it is now acting as an ob obstruction to our view now i'll right click and pick on copy and since we have this already selected we we'll just come here and pick it at the bottom end here and uh, place it to this position and place another one to this position right here right click and click interrupt to terminate that uh, command now we want to place a beam running across this this way what we'll do we'll just come to concrete once again and pick on the beams right here and we'll snap at the midpoint right there and uh, try run across to this end this uh, yellow triangle means a midpoint of a uh, an ob on uh, of an object now <coughs> i'll snap right here right there right click and click interrupt i'll uh, click on it once again just to change its color to match the rest this is how it looks now this is a beam running across now we want also uh, some beams cutting across that way We'll come here and do just the same thing. Thing, the same thing. Quite simple. Now I'll just snap it right there and change this color to the uh, to to class one to match the whole project or the whole uh, underground tank uh, project. Now I'll click on it. Right click and pick it from that spot. And uh, I want to copy it all the way to the rest. Of the column members right there so we have this in place so we have that, that one in place and uh, I can rotate this perfect now we can uh, we can place a cover on top on top here and to place that cover is quite simple we we'll just come to concrete here and uh, pick on slab and we'll just snap it right there and uh, follow the profile of the top end here and uh, snap right there and uh, snap right at the corner here and snap right back to our initial point and this will uh, create a slab once you close this polygon just close it and you can see that it's already created then uh, just double click uh, double click on it to reposition it double click on it then come to depth here then uh, click front and see where, how it will go there you are and we can change this to a similar color of gray and this is the top end of our concrete of our underground water tank this is how it looks now the manholes can be we, we can cut manholes right here we can have around three of them just cut here cut here cut right there and some and uh, some inlet and inlet and outlet on the other end that's all i'll close this and come and rotate this 
I'll click this, right click and click hide so that we can have a clear look at the inside here. Now, now if I press control 2, we'll be able to see uh, the skeleton, the whole skeleton of our, of our underground water tank. I mean, a skeleton by, by, by saying skeleton means that you can be able to view the rebars inside the concrete itself. Let me just turn, the, turn it around. I've not placed the reinforcements, uh, I mean the rebars on our beams and columns. Assuming that's now a very simple thing to do. If you've been following this channel for quite some time now, it should not be a very hectic thing. thing. And uh, if you want this done, just place that requ request there. I'll be able to uh, do a similar, a similar one for you, for you just to learn from that. This is how it looks. Perfect. And that's all about it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new. And let's meet then. Bye-bye. I'm Morris D.